Hey guys, Anthony Piotrowona here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm just gonna share the strategy I like to use to make a little extra money at the end of each week by selling calls on stocks with high implied volatility near their tops. If you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market using options trading, day trading, or swing trading, you're going to want to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it, and let's dive into the charts. It's Wednesday, November 17th. Options are expiring this Friday, the 19th. So what I'm doing is using a lot of my buying power to sell naked calls on stocks like Rivian and Lucid because their implied volatility is very high and skewed for the call section. So you collect a lot more premiums for the calls because people are betting that it's going up. Now, Lucid and Rivian sold off pretty aggressively today. And this to me is a sign that we're not going to see all time highs again this week. I'm selling the 65 strike call on Lucid and the 175 strike call on Rivian. This basically means I don't believe that in the next two days, Rivian will be above 175. And I don't believe that in the next two days, Lucid will be above 65. When a stock rises and rises and rises, it has the first sharp decline day. It's likely either range bound or going to continue to have a sell off. The likelihood and the probability of the rebound happening from a sharp sell off to go back past all time highs in the short term is extremely slim but the premiums don't suggest that. So you can collect a lot of money. So as an example, I sold 40 contracts this morning, expiring in two days, and I collected 1,583 US dollars for doing this on Lucid, and on Rivian, I collected 1,768 for selling 20 contracts. If you take a look at Lucid, the implied volatility for November is 134%. Implied volatility for Tesla is only around 58 to 60%. So the volatility is less than half of what Lucid is and Rivian is around the same. Because of this, when you sell options, you'll collect more money in premium. So this means that honestly, right now is a good time to buy call options on Tesla if you think it's going up because the implied volatility is a little lower. It had a sharp decline because it has been going down. But on Lucid and Rivian, it's not a good time to buy calls if you think it's going up. If you think it's gonna go up, you're better off to buy stock because the premiums are so high. This is why I sold the contracts. On the options chain, if we go to the 65 strike and we look at selling the calls, we click sell leg right here and it'll pop up. This is on interactive brokers. I love using interactive brokers for anything to do with options trading. So if we did 10 contracts, the margin plot would be 39,000, basically meaning that it would take up about 80,000 in buying power. If you have a $50,000 account on interactive brokers, you can use basically up to three times that leverage. So a maximum about 150,000. This would take up half of your buying power. This is a great strategy, high risk if it actually goes against you, but this is a great strategy if the week is ending and you found a stock that is pushing up to all time highs, finally has its first crack because when it has its first crack, it's extremely unlikely for it to go right back to all time highs in the short term, like the next two days. So what you could do is profit by selling calls above all time highs because again, it's extremely unlikely to go back to all time highs in the short term and you would collect $320. Now this morning when I sold it, it was a uh, 40 cents per contract. So it was $400 for the 10 contracts. You can repeat this pattern if you can find stocks that meet the criteria I just said. Ones that, are, that pushed up or extremely aggressively to all time highs. Like as an example, Lucid went from the high 20s to the high 50s in less than a month. So over 100% return in less than a month and finally has a really savage pullback. Volatility is extremely high, 140%. If you can find any stock over 100% volatility, you can collect a lot in premiums. But it's extremely dangerous because if it has that high of volatility, which means it could push right back up to all time highs quite easily. I personally did this with Rivian and Lucid across all my accounts to collect over 4,000 US from Wednesday morning to Friday market close. As long as Rivian and Lucid do not make new highs between now and the end of the day Friday, then all these will expire worthless and I keep that 4,000. And then Monday morning, I could have all my buying power freed up to put on new trades. Let's take a look at Rivian now. So on Rivian, you could sell the 175 strike expiring in two days, collect a dollar in premium for each contract. And you could do about four contracts for the relatively same amount of margin implied as the Lucid trade. Same kind of setup here, you're gonna collect $420 as long as Rivian does not make a new high between now and the end of the day Friday. And if you have a minimum of a $50,000 account, then you could put on these trades and collect this much in a span of two days. 
Here is Lucid on the daily chart, and based on this chart, it looks like it has a lot of strength, it looks like it will keep going, and it looks like it could definitely push towards that 65 level. But what we are banking on is the probabilities of what happens when you have a sell-off after such a crazy run. It's extremely likely to go back to those highs and above them, make new highs within the next two days. Yes, it could push back up to the 60 level, see the 59, but likely to see resistance before that 60 level and not push to that 65. On Rivian, we're looking at the four hour chart here and we see the parabolic run, massive sell off. The probability of us going back to that 175 level and breaking it in the next two days, again, extremely slim. So that's the play we are banking on there. In terms of Tesla stock, uh, I drew this wedge actually a while back and it broke out of this falling wedge. So a falling wedge is a bullish pattern where as you're going down this aggressively, you're likely to break up. We are at 1102. Congrats to everyone. I bought another call option today when Tesla was at about 1080. Basically, a lot of people sold out of Tesla stock to buy Rivian stock for the IPO because they also saw that Elon was selling shares. No use being in the stock when their Elon is gonna be selling shares and Rivian is a hot IPO. Rivian had its parabolic rise. Elon is halfway done, done selling the shares. Tesla stock was 20% from highs. No brainer to sell out of Rivian and buy back into Tesla. Lucid, similar thing going in there, but Lucid is more like, it just had such a crazy run. It went up over 100% in a month. So this is just normal profit taking on Lucid. Lucid looks like a better deal than Rivian at this moment because we're looking at you know like a $70 billion market cap compared to $120, $130 billion market cap. We are seeing a lot more evidence of the Tesla stock split happening December 9th. There are nine thrusters in this photo and Elon is saying 12 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. That's another December 9th kind of scenario. If you take a look at all the clues that Adam Hoove has been pairing together, you'll also see more evidence. Elon Pulse right here, due to, due to inflation, 420 has gone up by 69. This means a split on December 9th. 420 plus 69 equals 489. Four plus eight equals 12, nine equals nine. This is also why we're having a stock split December 9th. Elon posted right here, 129 orbital flights. That is December 9th. These are all hints that Elon is trying to give long-term investors to know that, hey, I know we made the stock go down. I'm gonna make up to you. There's a stock split coming December 9th. Elon likes to do that. He doesn't like when traders are in the stock because it causes a lot of unnecessary volatility in the stock. Elon doesn't like unnecessary volatility in the stock because all the employees get paid in stock. If you're the CEO, you would love to see your stock just steadily go up without having these crazy parabolic runs and these massive crashes because when that happens, that distracts the employees while they work. When a stock goes down massively, they're gonna be depressed and not work as hard at work. When it goes up massively, they're gonna be like, why am I working so hard when I'm making this money sitting here doing nothing? It's a no brainer for him to do all this. So he gets all the traders out of the stock and then gives all these hints to long-term investors saying that we're gonna have this stock split December 9th. Again, if this stock split does happen, there is no reason why we don't go back to about 1250 by the end of December. So we could end the year, honestly, at about 12.50. I'm still holding on to all my shares and I plan on it. I will need to pay a lot in taxes, but we'll figure that scenario out at the beginning of next year. So for now, I still think we'll trade around this level where we're at now. There's no reason for us to push up any higher until Elon posts that he's concluded selling all shares. And then it's very possible that we could go up back up to 1200 before that happens at the end of November. Stock split gets announced and push up to 1300 temporarily, selling back down to about 1200. But at this rate, I don't see us dropping back below 1000 anytime between now and the end of the year. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.